How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Hot Wheels is now released and I've been very lucky to have been playing it over the past few days thanks to Playground Games giving me a little bit of early access which means I've got tons of content for you guys over the course of the next week. What I've got for you today is a map tour. In this video we're going to be taking a look at all of the key elements of the entire Hot Wheels map, where everything is, all of the dragon locations, the different types of tracks, just everything you need to know about the map a bit of a tour. If you do enjoy this video guys, please do consider subscribing. The Hot Wheels map is split into four locations. We have the Horizon Nexus, which is in the middle of the map. This is also known as the Horizon Outpost, where the festival is. And then we've got the three biomes, the Jungle Biome, the Mountain Biome, and the Icy Volcano Biome. Before we look at the biomes, let's take a quick look at the five different tracks that you will use to navigate between the Nexus Outpost and all of the biomes. We've got the standard orange track. Nothing special about this one, your standard Hot Wheels orange track. We have the blue track, which is very similar to the orange track. However, the blue tracks often contain exits to go onto the mainland. These can also be spotted on the map with sort of dotted lines. This will indicate that the track doesn't have side walls and you can actually drive off the ramp on to the sort of the grassy area, depending on what biome you're on. Those are the blue tracks or the, the junctions. We then have the three special ones. We have the Water Rapids tracks, which is sort of like a sort of a water stream going down the middle of the track. And if you drive in the correct direction with it, it'll give you a bit of a speed boost by the looks of it. Since as you can see, the water is flowing in one direction. That is the Water Rapids track, very fun to drive on. We then have the Magnetic track, which as in the title is a magnetic track. Your car will stick to this track whether you're upside down, sideways, your car will stick in its position and you won't sort of fall off if you don't have enough speed. It's a magnetic track. And the very cool thing about the magnetic track is it will glow in the dark at night time. As you can see, it's got a nice sort of blue neon glow to it, unlike the other tracks. That is the magnetic track. And then the last one is the icy one, the most annoying of all. It's just a track that's very icy and it's very annoying to go around corners. So. Yeah, that is the icy track. So we've got the orange, the icy, the water rapids, the magnetic and the blue tracks all to navigate around Hot Wheels. Let's have a look at the biomes. So from the Horizon Nexus, you will have a big ramp into each biome, which will actually contain these big sort of fan things, which sort of boost you towards the biome. We'll start off with the jungle biome. The jungle biome is a very, very compact one. It's got some very high tracks down deep into the ravines and also high up around the big big tree even though it's really good it's probably my least favorite of all of them there is actually quite a lot of ground you can drive on physically in the jungle area off the tracks if you want to do a bit of off-roading but there's plenty of track space as well now in each biome so the jungle the mountain and the icy one there is a dragon you will need this dragon for sort of landmark purposes and actually you'll need it for some challenges as well so this is where all of the dragons are or at least this is where the jungle dragon is if you're looking for the dragon in the jungle area it is actually in one of the big ravines you'll find it sort of hovering above the track deep in one of the ravines in the jungle area here it is on the map as marked you can actually get into sort of waterfalls and down into the water I'm surprised this wasn't out of bounds, but you can actually drive in a lot of places you wouldn't expect to be allowed to drive. Gonna leave a quick bit of gameplay of just driving around the jungle area, just touring about. Now let's have a look at the mountain area, which is one of my favourite ones. As you can see, exact same as the jungle area, there is a big track from the Horizon Nexus down to the mountain area. Now the mountain biome is actually a lot more airy, it's a lot more open, there's a lot more fresh air and open area, and the tracks actually go sort of off the biome into the background of the map as well. It seems a lot more spread out, even though there's probably just as many tracks on the mountain area as there is the jungle area, but it is my favourite one. Once again, there are areas where you can drive off the track onto the actual mountain biome itself and drive around. The dragon location in the mountain area is not in a deep ravine, it's actually at the highest point. So you'll be able to see it from all around the map. It is at the tip of the highest mountain on the mountain area near the big loop de loop. If you need it for any of the challenges, that's where it is. Here's a quick bit of gameplay driving around the mountain area. Right. 
Now the third biome, which once again has a nice path from the Horizon Nexus down to the icy area. Now the icy area is also where the volcano is, which is very odd. Fire and ice don't really go together. But this one's sort of in the middle. It's, I don't feel it is as compact as the jungle area, but it's not as spacey as the mountain area. It's sort of in the middle. And some of my favourite tracks in the entire map are located within the icy area. Some of the tracks are really, really cool. Now, the dragon location in the icy area is at the bottom of the volcano, right at the foot of it at a sort of a V-junction. As I said, you will need these dragon locations for some of the challenges which you will encounter as you're playing the game. Here's a bit of gameplay of driving around the icy area. Now there is actually technically another area on the map and it is in between all of the areas. So it's not the biomes, it's not the nexus, but it's the bits in between. There's actually quite a lot of tracks in between sort of in the open air, including this sort of big snake sort of skater, I don't know what you call it really, a U-pipe thing. That's quite fun to drive on. So there are plenty of tracks underneath the Horizon Nexus and between the biomes to drive on as well. Here's a bit of gameplay of that. So the Hot Wheels map has tons to explore and it's definitely miles ahead of the Horizon 3 Hot Wheels expansion. There's just a lot more different things to it. It's not just the same thing. Hopefully this video has given you a little bit of an idea to get your bearings on how the Hot Wheels map is laid out, how you can get to each area, where the dragons are and what you can expect when you're driving about. As I said guys, Hot Wheels is now public, so go and download it yourself, go and play it, it's an awesome expansion. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon Fine content, and I'll see you all later.